Power outages are improving around the Bay Area, but tens of thousands of PG&E customers remain in the dark tonight. Latest numbers from the utility show 26,000 customers are still without power, 22,000 of them on the peninsula. Another 3,500 customers are without power in the South Bay. Live coverage now from KTVU's La Monica Peters in Menlo Park in La Monica. Some people there have been without power now for 24 hours. Yes, yes, they have. And I'm standing at the corner of Ravenswood and Laurel Street where the traffic lights are out. It's completely dark here. And I think it's hard for some cars to see because they're simply not stopping or yielding at this intersection. And PG&E says that the peninsula is not out of the woods yet because there's another storm headed this way. Yeah, I, I hope the power can um, uh, be fixed uh, as soon as possible. Liang Wang says he's a student who lives in this building operated by Stanford University on Menlo Avenue. He says he's been without power for over 24 hours, but he stayed in his apartment because he didn't have any place else to go. Wang showed us what he's doing to preserve his food. Today I, I bought some uh, food from the way, so they sent me the ice, so I put the ice uh, in the refrigerator. Yeah. PG&E says there were dozens of fallen trees and more than 670 transformers damaged during Tuesday's windstorm. The company says they have about 2,800 crew members working to to restore power throughout the region. What's really challenging for our crews right now is that we're seeing a lot of outages that are only affecting maybe one or a few customers. And at these locations, it's not just one tree down that broke, for example, a power pole, but it's multiple poles that are down, multiple trees. So Tostado says removing trees from power lines takes time and has to be done carefully. She says they hope to get power back to every customer as soon as possible. But with another winter storm bringing heavy rain and snow, another round of outages should be expected. Kijini is preparing for low elevation snow. That's expected to arrive tomorrow and Friday. So snow loading on tree species not accustomed to snowfall could result in more trees falling and branches breaking and impacting power lines, and this could disrupt electric service. Shortly after speaking with us, Wong reached out to us and told us that he got his power back. Now, PG&E says that people should continue to take precautions like using flashlights instead of candles. And unless you have a fireplace, you should not start a fire of any type inside of your house. Mike? Yes, indeed. All right. La Monica Peters live tonight in Menlo Park. La Monica, thank you. Santa Clara